All right, hi everyone. Um, welcome to Anatomy and Physiology One uh, Summer 2020 session. Um, my name is Kyle Rosa. I'll be your instructor. Uh, so I just wanted to take a few minutes to kind of introduce myself, go over what is needed for the course. Um, so this is a pretty fast-paced course, so you want to make sure that you're um, keeping up with everything each week, and I'll show you kind of the best ways to do that. Um, and I also think it's important, too, that you kind of get an idea of who I am, maybe put a face to a name, uh, since you'll probably be communicating with me via email at least once or twice throughout the, the term here. So this is uh, your homepage for the course. And uh, if you've taken online courses at Rowan before, this should look pretty familiar through Canvas. Um, you might as well get used to Canvas because I think we're moving all courses to Canvas by the fall. Uh, so we won't be using Blackboard. So it's a good thing if you've never taken an online course to, uh, to kind of get accustomed to this now because you will be seeing it in the future. So I'll go over the syllabus in a second so you don't have to spend too much time reading that and also a few other things on here. Um, so what you'll notice from this homepage is each week is broken up. All right. And the weeks go Tuesday to Monday. OK, so um, keep that in mind when you're looking at the due dates. Okay, and I'll go over that as well. Um, what's kind of coming up, your assignments to do, will be here, and this is a good way to kind of organize yourself in addition to looking at the different um, weekly overviews and the syllabus, just to make sure you're not missing any assignments. So the majority of the assignments in here will be through Wiley Plus, okay, but there will be discussion questions as well, and a few lab assignments that are not in Wiley Plus. Okay, so most of the labs are through Wiley Plus, but there's a couple that you'll have to um, do a little video or take pictures of, which I'll talk about as well in a second. Okay. Um, so here's the instructor biography, just very quickly, a little bit about my background. Um, so I have my um, bachelor's in biology, bachelor's in education from Rowan University. Uh, my master's is in biological sciences from Clemson. Um, I was a teacher, I was finishing up my, my uh, last year as a, a teacher, a high school teacher, Clearview Regional High School. I've been there seven years. I've taught um, biology, anatomy, and physiology. Um, I'm actually leaving the end of this school year, um, going back to school myself to earn my doctor of physical therapy at Arcadia. Um, so I, I, you know, have gone through a lot of um, uh, thought for what I've wanted to do, and um, I really enjoy teaching and helping people, and I think this is a good uh, direction for me to go in. Um, but I have taught here at Rowan for the last three or four years. I think it's been three years. Um, I've taught anatomy and physiology one, anatomy and physiology two in person at Rowan. Um, and I've also taught at Rowan College at Burlington County, where I've taught uh, general biology. Okay, so I've taught this course uh, in different formats before. And uh, you'll see that the online format is fairly similar to what we do uh, in class, just with a few tweaks. Okay? Um, but again, I'm here to assist you and here to help you. And I hope that you have a really good experience. You learn a lot uh, during the course of this uh, summer class here in anatomy. And I'm, like I said, I'm here for you and I'm here to help you in any way that I can to be successful in the course. So the best way to kind of be successful is to You've all taken the right first step and you're watching this video, which is going to take you through what you need to do to be successful. All right. So I'm going to go over the syllabus here just to make sure that everything is covered. Um, so you have this access to the syllabus uh, on your homepage for the course. Just click syllabus and it'll open it up. Um, but there's a few things I want to go over. So the course begins on June 2nd and goes to July 27th. All right. Um, it's online. There's no face-to-face -face meetings for the course, no asynchronous uh, synchronous, or sorry, no synchronous sessions, no Blackboard Collaborate, nothing like that. Um, in terms of getting to contact me, there are virtual sort of office hours in the discussion. You're more than welcome to post something there if you think it's a question that will benefit the whole group. But if there's something that you want to um, address with me individually, then you should do that via email. So what is anatomy and physiology one going to cover? So we're going to start off, we're going to talk about sort of the language of anatomy, how we orient ourselves in anatomy, um, the different body systems as a whole. Uh, we'll get into review of chemistry, basic biology, uh, the skin, the integumentary system, the bones and the skeleton, joints, uh, the muscular system, how muscles contract, all the different muscles of the body. And then we'll close out with the nervous system, talking about the brain, the spinal cord, the nerves and all the associated structures with the nervous system. All right, so this is the first of a two-part sequence. 
anatomy and physiology 2 covering the other systems. All right, so some of you may have actually taken anatomy and physiology 2 before 1, um, in which case you'll you know, in a, be in a little bit of a better position, but um, it's normal to take anatomy and physiology 1 first. So um, textbook information. Now, for the online class, um, uh, is the same textbook as we use online. Now, it's the Principles of Anatomy and Physiology by Tortora and Derrickson, 15th edition. Now, for the online class, you're, you're more than welcome to purchase the um, actual hard copy, right? It uh, looks like this. Okay, you're more than welcome to buy this hard copy, but you don't need to. What you need for the class is access to the Wiley Plus. Now, to get the Wiley Plus, you can just do it directly through our, our course Canvas site, which I'll show you here uh, right now. So if you look, um, here's Wiley Plus, and you can click onto anything that's Wiley Plus initially, okay, any of the assignments, but you could just click on this Read, Study, and Practice, and what it'll do is it'll open up Okay, this page, and you got to load it in a new window. And you'll get this, Wiley Terms of Service. Okay, you hit Accept. Okay. And now right here from this page, you are going to be directly into our Wiley Plus uh, uh, section. Okay. So what you can do is you can buy the Instant Access Only, which includes the online version of the book, and Wiley Plus. So this is what I would recommend you do. You get the e-text of the book, okay, the online text. Uh, you can read the book online, and you get access to the Wiley Plus, which has your assignments. Okay, it's $119, which is not bad, considering you'll have this for one and two. Okay, you'll have this for anatomy one and anatomy two. If you already have access to this from uh, a previous, let's say you took this course already, so you took anatomy two already, then you don't have to purchase it again. You should already have access. Okay. But let's say you're a non committal person. I'm kind of a non committal person. Okay. I'm not ready to buy this just yet, even though I know I have to. Look at this. I'm not ready to buy. I'd like to use the 14 day grace period. So that means every single one of you should be able to get right into your assignments right away. Okay. Even if you have to save up some money for this $119. Okay. You have 14 days. And then after that, you'll have to pay for it. So there's no excuse to get right in and to get right to work. Now, again, you can do whatever you want in terms of the textbook options. I know some people like to have, you know, a hard copy. That's up to you. This is my suggestion. Go right into the Wiley Plus Instant Access. You get access to the online textbook. Okay. You have 14 days to pay for it. Set the money aside so that you have that. And again, this is affordable. It's for Anatomy 1 and Anatomy 2. And you have access to this. Even if you know if something happens and you you have to withdraw from this course, which I hope no one has to, or you fail this course, or something like that happens, um, you'll still have access to this. It's, it's access for life. Um, so, and, or not for life until you complete Anatomy One and Anatomy Two and pass both of them. Okay, so it's really a good deal in terms of textbooks. All right, so that's the textbook information. In addition to the textbook, since this is a four-credit, you know, lab course online, and it's fast, it's, it's a lot, um, you're going to need a few other things. You'd have some way to take pictures, so your smartphone works, or a tablet device, an iPad that can take pictures, um, a digital camera device, something like that to take pictures of your labs. So for different labs, you'll need some different things. So for lab number five, you're going to need iodine, over-the-counter iodine, which you can get at CVS. They have it. They have to have it at a, a, a shop, right? ShopRite or um, Walmart, cotton balls, clean white paper towels for this lab. Uh, for lab number 10, you're going to need a chicken wing uncooked. Okay, uh, So it's important that it's uncooked because you're going to be dissecting the chicken wing and you're going to be seeing ligaments, tendons, and all kinds of things. Okay, Paper towels to be replaced, disposable gloves, scissors, um, anything that uses a probe, you can even use a toothpick for that. Please. All right, so a lot of these things you may already have in your house. Uh, for lab number 11, this is the ham steak lab you're going to be looking at. Um, so this one, um, supermarket, you can get a ham steak. Just make sure you get one that has the bone in it. Um, if you can't find one with a bone in it, there have been times I've had some trouble finding it with a bone. You can get one without it, but just keep in mind that the bone is the one that you want. So look for the one with the bone in it. 
Um, you should be able to find it. You might have to ask the, the butcher or somebody there uh, to help you, but they should have this at the, at the supermarket. Um, let me just show you what that looks like so you have an idea. So what ham steak uh, should look like this in a package. Um, that's what you're purchasing. It's like that. Two eighty nine. You need that, um, and the same kind of things for um, the chicken wing is what you need for the ham steak lap. All right, so here's the schedule for the course. Now I'm not going to go through every single solitary thing because it's pretty much the same. But each week there will be a weekly overview that you want to use as your uh, your guide for the week. Now keep in mind, like I said, the weeks run uh, Tuesday to Monday, so. 6-2 is the first day of the class, right? That's uh, Tuesday, and then the week one will go all the way to Monday the 8th, okay? So that's when the assignments will be mostly due. Um, so what is there this week to do? So the first week, you're going to want to watch the two lectures for chapter one and two. I'll show you how to access the lectures, okay? Um, you're going to want to read or skim chapters one and two in your textbook. Definitely go in and look at the text. It's a great textbook. You, you paid for it, um, and there's lots of interactives in the textbook that are really important to look at. And when you look at the lectures, you'll see uh, how to get to some of those things. Um, the discussion board for this week says, ask a question about me. It can be about Rowan, anatomy, physiology, my education. Just remember everyone in the class participates. Um, so just, you know, Based on kind of my background information, if there's anything that you want to discuss with me just to kind of get the ball rolling, um, uh, that's what the purpose of that discussion is. Uh, the assignments, there's a lab assignment one, a lab assignment two, Wiley plus homework one, Wiley plus homework two. And these will be combinations of sort of labeling, fill in the blank questions from the textbook, um, and multiple choice animation type things, all with that. All right. Uh, the words quiz and exam are kind of used interchangeably here, but then there's a quiz and uh, quiz one on chapter one and quiz two on chapter two. So again, this is a good amount in a week. So make sure you're spacing your workout accordingly. All right. And uh, putting the time in. It's doable. You just need to keep yourself on a schedule. All right. Then the next week, it's pretty much the same thing. Two assignments, two labs. Um, there's two discussion questions, three and four. Right. You'll see. Um, and then two quizzes on the material. Um, and it kind of repeats that way through the uh, through the term. So you should, it's a lot, but you should get into a rhythm. There's no real changes, no deviation in the rhythm. Okay. And this goes through, like I said, to the end of the term. Sometimes there's a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on what it is, but it's pretty much the same. Now, at the end of week eight, okay, last week, uh, there is a final cumulative exam on everything, okay? So let's talk a little bit about some of these assignments. Um, so the Wiley Plus assignments go with each chapter. They're designed to help you understand um, and engage with the topics. And it's a good way for us to kind of talk about things if you have questions, all right? So the assignments and labs are basically like homeworks and the quizzes accompany the chapter, all right? So make sure when you're doing things, you don't cut and paste anything, okay? I've been teaching this course for a while. I've read this book inside and out many times. I know when things are copied and pasted, even though there is sort of plagiarism tools on here that catch it, I immediately know when things are copied and pasted. So please do your best, okay? If it's if it's something that you're you're Googling and you're finding some kind of, you know, Quizlet and you're copying from that, just don't do it. I'll know. All right. Um, and I and I can't accept that. You're you're paying for this course to learn something, right? And that is the goal, all right? Um, if you're struggling, then you need to contact me and we can figure out ways to help you uh, to better understand the material. But please don't cheat because, um, yeah, it sounds kind of cheesy and cliche, but the only one you're really cheating is yourself. Um, and trust me, in the long run, whatever it is you decide to do beyond this, um, if you skip steps, you're, you're just going to be behind. Um, and, you know, and that's just the way it is. So. During the quiz, quizzes uh, are closed textbook, um, but the homework assignments are all open textbook, open notes, okay? Again, no cutting and pasting anything for any open-ended questions. Same thing with the discussion questions each week. Um, I want to know what's in your head. I want to know what you're thinking. I want you to synthesize what's in the book and turn it into your own information. 
Um, so how do you get a full five points for each discussion question? Um, your original post has to be in by Friday at midnight, and then your second post, uh, your response by Monday at midnight. All right. Um, post something no one else has posted. So you want to make a post uh, unique, and you also need to include a source for the material. Uh, it can be websites uh, or your textbook as well. Um, when you're commenting on somebody else's, now I've taken online courses, I've taught online courses, right? Uh, and Great post is not really a response. Um, remember, people are reading this. I'm reading this. Um, imagine that you're kind of really talking to this person. And if it's not something that you normally would say, it's not really worth saying it. Um, it doesn't have to be a long post, but it should be a, an original thought. Um, and it should be something other than great post. Uh, I agree that, you know, it's a bad disease. Like, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for something substantive to earn that full five points, all right? So lateness, lack of efforts, uh, lack of effort will result in reduction in points. Okay. Each week's two chapters, here's the breakdown of when things are due. So initial discussion posts are due by Friday, replies by Monday. Wiley plus assignments, the homeworks are due by Saturday. Labs due Sunday, quizzes due on Monday. All right, so remember in the online course, everything runs Tuesday to Monday. So don't worry too much. I mean, keeping track of the dates, you want to keep track of them. But um, also, you have on the side of your screen, where did I get? How do I get? On your homepage, remember, the dates come up here in your to-do list for the week. So, um, and they're all in there. So don't worry too much about, uh, you know, all of those due dates and keeping track of everything because it, it does come up here. And I think that's really helpful. Um, so here's the breakdown of your grades. So 15, so it's not a straight total points, all right, for the online class. It's the Wiley Plus assignments make up 15% of your grade. The quizzes are a bigger chunk, 50%, so make sure you're doing a really nice job with that. Discussion questions, 10%. The labs, 15%. And then the cumulative final makes up 10%, all right? Um, and the straight grading system shown here is going to be at play. So I hope to kind of, you know, run this course, you know, as, as best as possible. This is the standard kind of online course. And um, you guys should be able to manage each week yourself uh, what you have to do. And if you're struggling with that, you can contact me and I can kind of guide you towards ways to um, to do better. And I'll also give you feedback on your discussion questions, feedback on assignments to help you do better each week. But you have to kind of put the time in and you have to try um, in order to be successful in a course like this, okay? Um, <clears throat> so doing the work is very important, but you also, it's gonna make the work infinitely easier, infinitely easier if you watch the lectures each week, okay, the recorded lectures. So when you go to Media Gallery here, that will have all of the lectures and it'll tell you, uh, it tells you on the syllabus, and it'll tell you the weekly overviews, what lectures to watch, okay? Um, so here's all the lectures for the course. They're labeled lecture one, chapter one. The lectures numbers go with the chapters, okay? Um, the lectures aren't done by me, so for the only course are done by Dr. Tom Mott, who's the course coordinator, and she's a great instructor, uh, one of probably the best uh, instructor at Rowan. She's actually retiring this year. She's going to be Professor Emeritus here. But she is an incredible teacher, and uh, you will learn a great deal from her watching these lectures. They're not very long. Some of them are only like 15 minutes um, and they follow the PowerPoint. And like I said, they're really, really good. Um, so let's start with this one here. They should be from 2019, just last year they were recorded. So these are current lectures with the new book and they're they're really, like I said, she does an amazing job. Um, and for me as an instructor, very similar to kind of the way that I teach. Um, so I find it to be really good. So those of you who have, I don't know, if I didn't really look at the, the course list to see yet. Uh, if I've had any of you, but if any of you had me, it's very similar to the way that kind of I teach uh, the course. So, um, like I said, really important to watch those lectures because there's things in the lectures that are in the quizzes that you need to know um, and that will really help you with that. Okay. Um, let me see. What else do I want to talk about? There was one other thing. The discussions are here um, to get into those. Make sure you do the postings in there. Um to access the PowerPoints for the, the lectures, they're all in here, PDF format. 
Okay, so these are all really good for you to have, to take a look at, to study from, to follow along. You might want to do a split screen where you have like Dr. Tom on explaining on one side, then you've got your notes over here. If you have access to a printer, you might want to print them out. Sometimes that helps. Um, also, too, if you have a laptop and an iPad, you can have the lecture playing, let's say, on your iPad or on your laptop, and then you can be annotating on your iPad uh, on the slides. I think that's a really cool way to do it and study. And believe me, you'll if you watch the lectures, if you take notes, if you really take your time and put that time in, you'll learn the material uh, very quickly. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I believe, oh yeah, so the last thing each week, um, you'll see for week one, the assignments are listed in here by chapter, chapter one and chapter two. So this is all week one. Um, so I would say every Tuesday, when you're ready to start the new week, open the overview up, have it ready to go, um, make a copy of it. Okay. For that week, go to file, make a copy so that you have a copy. And then as you do things, highlight and cross out that you did them. Okay. That's my best advice to you to do that. That's what I would do. And that's what I had had done when I have, ta when I've taken online courses in the past. Okay. Um, and there's, further explanation to each of these assignments on here, all right? So I'll send things out to you, like reminder emails and things like that, if there's anything coming up that I think I need to draw your attention to. But for the most part, everything you need to know is in this weekly overview and explains what all of the assignments look like, okay? So the exam, all of those things, all right? I'm gonna make a separate video in a little bit just explaining Wiley Plus um, and what that looks like. This is just the syllabus and the course in general. Okay, so this is the weekly overview for week one, um, and uh, this is kind of what, what this will look like, all right? Take your time and look at this for each week. If you have problems with Wiley Plus, I will say before I make that video, your best uh, bet is to go to the support. They're very good, and a lot of times they can answer questions that I can't uh, with Wiley Plus, all right? Okay, so I know that was a lot of information, right? But I think it helps you to kind of go through it. Now you have an idea of what to expect, what the amount of work is each week, and you can go ahead and you can get started on week one and begin kind of this journey into learning about the human body. Uh, it is really fascinating, and I hope that you enjoy it. Um, remember, I'm here if you need me, and I'll be posting another video about the Wiley Plus in detail, how to uh, kind of look at the assignments and what to do with those in Wiley Plus and some frequently asked questions there. In the meantime, if you have any issues, feel free to reach out to me and I'll be happy to help you. Um, good luck with everything and I hope everyone is doing well.